What's up, everybody? This is Whiskey in the Six. I'm Rob. Doing a Gordon McPhail Linkwood 15 year old. Okay? That's a space side whiskey. Gordon McPhail is an independent bottler. So, what they do is they purchase whiskey from various distilleries. They do a lot of work with Linkwood. They've done work with other companies like Bunnahabin and McAllen and a whole bunch of other ones. And they put it in their own barrels, age it in their own warehouse, and this is the outcome. A lot of companies are doing this now, but these are really, really nice. This one in particular is really nice. Um, it's aged in a sherry cask, and it doesn't necessarily say that it's a single cask, so I'm assuming there's multiple casks used from Gordon McPhail. Probably one or two bourbon casks because it's not overly sherried, but there is a possibility that this is exclusively sherried because um, they, could, they could be using second fill or third fill casks as well. Um, what a lot of companies do if they do use a second or third fill barrel is they'll rechar it and get a similar effect to what you would have had in the beginning with the first char, right? Um, so without further ado, I'm going to taste and nose this because that's why you guys tune in. There is a strong cherry note that comes from this. It could also be mistaken for like a berry, like a raspberry. Really, really nice. A light cinnamon. This is more fruity than chocolatey, but there is elements of chocolate in it as well in the nose. Okay, on the palate. So, it's been open for quite some time. Actually, Trini and C sent me this bottle. So thank you, Trini and C. Um, they sent me this bottle a while back and it was probably a little higher. I've had the opportunity to taste it a couple times. We traded bottles, I want to say it was almost six months ago. I just, I've been pushing this one off because no reason in particular, I just haven't been able to get to it. And it's really good stuff. I actually probably will buy a bottle. There's still some available I've seen in Alberta. It's bottled at 43%. <clears throat> and it's really, really nice. Okay, uh, before I continue to give notes on this, I want to show you guys something. Um, this one is boxless because I gave the box away to a friend from Toronto Whiskey Society, Jeremy. If you haven't checked out his reviews, I highly recommend you read his blog. He's a really good writer and he knows a lot about whiskey. Cool guy too. Um, so, McAllen edition number one. I got two of these bad boys now. Thank goodness. Alright, this is the one I'll probably stash for the future, but I do plan, now that I have my edition one and I got to try it and it's phenomenal stuff, I do plan to open another one of my edition number twos. I have two more of these. Okay, as you know, I did review the McAllen edition two. It's in the archives, you guys can check that out. And when the McAllen edition three comes, I'll probably buy two of those as well. I'll have one of them open from each edition and I'll do a head-to-head -head with all three lined up. That'll probably be a live. Tom R was asking me to do a live, so that's likely what, what the plan is for that one. But I will review the McAllen Edition 1 separately as well as the McAllen Edition 3 separately. So, but all you need to know for now is that this McAllen Edition 1 blew, blew me away, all right? Um, I did not expect it to be as good as the Edition 2, I definitely didn't expect it to exceed the edition two. Now, 
this was shared with two other guys and they felt the exact same way. So that's not just me, that's three pours um, with two other people. And that was actually earlier on today. So really, really good stuff. Anyway, back to the liquid. Like I said, a lot of cherry and berries on the nose, very fruity. Sweet, a nice maltiness to it. The cherry comes through on the palate. A lot more oak on the palate, but not overwhelming in a, in a bad way. It's a nice oak. <clears throat> Perhaps a little bit of a, not a smoke, it's almost like, I'm not sure, charred oak maybe. <clears throat> One more sip. Really, really nice. It's nice stuff. Unfortunately, I don't know that much about Gordon McPhail other than this is the first bottle that I've tried from them and I do plan on getting a whole lot more because really, really nice stuff, okay? <clears throat> Gordon and McPhail have been bottling whiskey, single malt whiskey for ages, all right? Um, I honestly feel like they were one of the first, despite being an independent bottler, but I could be wrong about that. Their name is synonymous with single malt scotch. So that symbol, a lot of people probably recognize it from their parents' bar because there was probably a whole bunch of these bottles in their parents' bar when they were younger. Okay, so really, really cool that they're still popping up, popping out some really, really nice stuff. Uh, but I'll definitely buy another one. I'll definitely buy another one of these Linkwoods, but I'll look for more of what they have to offer because this is a really nice one. I'm gonna give this one an A. It's a solid 87 for me. Probably give or take a mark, okay? I think I, I would have liked to know, to have known what the whiskey was like at the top of this bottle as opposed to the bottom, but I guess for that information, you can go to Trinity and C's video and see what they gave it as far as marks go, but I really enjoy it. It's about 120 to $150, depending on where you get it in Canada, and then probably a lot less elsewhere, but definitely worth it in my opinion, all right? Again, stay tuned for the McAllen Edition 1, 2, 3 shootout or we'll call it something of that sort. I also recently picked up this Glendronic 1994 20 year old Oloroso single cask, all right? And as luck would have it, now that I've picked up a bottle each for one of my kids of the, of the Highland Park 25 year old, I'll be probably opening this 1995 20 year old, which is PX cask. All right, so these guys are a couple months apart and I'll get to do a head-to-head -head, hopefully in the upcoming months um, with these two. Looking forward to that. As well as Springbank 18, which I think I've shown you guys already. I have a Hakushu 12-year-old, which is surprisingly pretty good. Um, I didn't expect it to be as good as it is. Really, really nice. I'm getting a Yamazaki 12-year-old. You can expect to see it a head to head with those two as well. All right. I'm not going to bore you guys with what's coming up next because it often changes and I end up talking too much about it. So, other than what you see here, who knows what's coming up next? I do have my whiskey of the year video that should be in the next few weeks. Um, I'm looking forward to it. I hope you guys are too. Hats are for sale. If you guys want them, contact me on Instagram, Facebook. You can even send me a message through YouTube um, and I can explain to you how you can get them. But basically what how this works is you choose what you want, Snapback or Flexfit, which is this one right here. This is a medium large, so you guys can kind of gauge, all right? You guys can choose whatever color you want, all right? So let me know if you guys want those. Um, Check me out on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter as well. 
thank you for following. My channel has been increasing in numbers and I owe you guys that. Uh, so thank you very much. And that's it. Cheers, guys.